Right. <clears throat> I've just washed my hair and it does not look good. I'm not happy with it at all. Hi guys, um, welcome back to the channel. I've not done a sit down video for ages. Um, Jacob's in the background, he's just playing on his, on his switch. So if you hear a few noises, it's just Jacob. Um, I have got uh, what I got for Christmas. It's not a haul, is it? It's just what I got for Christmas. And I've also went to Bristol on the 29th for Chelsea's birthday. You might have seen the vlog. Um, and I bought, I bought a bit, few bits there as well, so I thought I might as well just put them in the same video. Although now looking at it all, I've got quite a lot. I was a little bit spoiled, but let's get into it. Right, firstly, let's get the biggest thing out of the way, is my beautiful, beautiful Monica. It's not focusing. I'll do a cut away. My beautiful Monica Vinada, Vinada. Oh my God, my hair is doing my head in. That will do. Um, yeah, my beautiful Vinada, Monica Vinada necklace. So I've got the chain and then I've got the little pendant that I might get um, engraved one day. I just didn't know what I wanted on it. Then I've got a little I can't even remember what stone this is. I think it's white. I don't know, I'll put it in the description. White little stone and then a little H. And I'm so happy with it. I love it so much. My mum and dad bought this for me. <laughs> Jacob keeps looking around at me like, what are you going on about? Um, yeah, my mum and dad kindly bought me this for Christmas, which I was so, so happy about. Thank you. Um, yeah, and then moving on, um, Connor, my brother, my big little brother, um, he got me the Masoma, I don't even know what it's called either, not very good with names. He got me the Masoma ring, um, he bought it me for my birthday and Christmas because my birthday is only in like two weeks time. So I couldn't think of anything I wanted but then I found the ring so I thought well you can get me that if you want. <laughs> There's a joint present which was very kind of him. Um, and then my little sister got me this Zoella jot notepad because she see me I saw me eyeing it up in boots the other week so she brought me that bless her it was very very kind of you thank you Finley and then moving on to we'll do Chelsea what she got me she bought me these so super cozy pajamas I think she's got them herself and she's like do you want these because I love them <laughs> I was like yeah I like them so, well they're not pyjamas, they're more like loungewear. They're like super soft and fleecy inside. And then they've got a jumper to go with it. I've had them on, that's why they look like this. <laughs> and I just love them. They're so cosy. And I'm always in need of more loungewear. Because I live in loungewear when I'm doing editing videos, editing blog posts and all that malarca. So thanks Chelsea. And she also got me <coughs> Food Fighters Greatest Hits on vinyl. She saw it in my um one of my vlogmases. So she, <laughs> she she got an idea of what I wanted what that I wanted it. I had this on all day yesterday. Thank you so much Chelsea. And then moving on to what Steph got me for Christmas. He got me my vlogging camera for my Christmas and birthday. Um, but because it was Vlogmas, I, was, I begged him to let me use it early. And he gave him. <laughs> but um, we also decided, well I decided that I wanted to do stockings. So Steph and I bought each other stocking fillers and then obviously Santa filled the boys, boys up. But this is what 
he got me in my stocking. I was like, I don't know what to get you, I don't know what to get. And then he did amazing dressing. So right, first thing he got me was this candle from Urban Outfitters, I think it was. It smells really nice. It's not like, I don't really, I'm not a really florally, sweetie, scented kind of person. This is Amber and Moss Soy Candle from, it says PF Candle Company, but I think it's from Urban Outfitters. That smells amazing. Thank you, Steph. We also, it got, <laughs> there's some like funny little bits in it because that's what stocking fillers are about really, isn't it? Like just the random stuff that you don't know, what, know you want or need until you see it. Um, so he got me, I've been dying to use all this stuff but I wanted to put it in the video first. Um, it's a massage ball with light, I don't know why it's got a light on it. <clears throat> but I'm always like, oh, will you give me a massage, Steph, will you give me a massage? I think it stems from when I was pregnant when he couldn't really get away with not doing it. <laughs> but now I just beg him. So he, I think he saw this and thought that might save my hands a bit. I think it's from Tiger. Massage ball, yeah. Yeah, so I can't wait to give that a go. He also brought me this, which I'm really excited to use. It's a customizable, customizable cookie stamper. So basically you've got all these letters and then you can put in whatever you want to say. Right, they've got happy but happy fifth birthday. I thought I might be quite cute for people's birthdays and stuff. So yeah, I'm quite excited to use that. Well, it looks like it might be a bit complicated because you have to drop a mirror image and all that, so you might have to help me. <laughs> but yeah, got that. I think that was from Debenhams. Debenhams do a great little gift section at Christmas. Um, he bought me these remote control finders because we are always losing our remote control. <laughs> and basically, I think you just attach this, I think you glue it, it's like a sticky thing on the back. And then you attach these to the your remote controls, and I think you whistle, and then you, they're meant to like beep. Who knows? Hopefully it works because it'd be really cool if it does. Because we're always losing them. Then he bought me this shower speaker, which I thought was really clever. I don't even think it needs batteries. I think it's oh no, it does. It's, it's got a rechargeable battery in it. But that'd be great for when I'm bathing Harrison and stuff. So that might be quite interesting if it works. It's not all things blooming work, do they? It's Bluetooth as well, so. He also bought me, which I'm quite excited to do, test your dog, the dog IQ test. And it's basically got a load of questions in there that you just have to answer. And then it, I think you just take note of what it is and then at the end it will tell you what your dog's IQ is. <laughs> I don't think Daphne's going to be that clever if I'm honest. Don't tell her. Um, but yeah, this quite, might be quite funny to do. Um, so that might be quite funny to do. <laughs> I don't know where we had that from, but I thought that was quite cool. And then he bought me these candles, which I've already got one out. Um, these are from Urban Outfitters. They're little cactus candles. I thought these were really cute. I probably won't burn them because they're too cute. Let's put them out in little displays where I think I think that there's a bit missing because I'm literally gutting my whole house. I've already done the living room and it looks so much better, although a little bit empty. But Steph said it's nice that way. We shall see. Um, but yeah, I really like these. They're really cute. And then he also got me this from Urban Outfitters. It's a picture rope. So basically got this copper cord and then some pegs and some drawing pins and then you can just clip your pictures on, which I thought might be quite cool at like um, birthdays and stuff. You can put like a birthday bunting or pictures or anything. Because I don't think all year round, I don't think I could find a place all year round for them unfortunately. But I really like that. That's a really cute idea. See, I told you he did well. I told him to go to like Next, Urban Outfitters, Tiger, and he did. He did. Well done. And he did really well. 
this is what I was quite excited about. It's a cactus kit. You know how much I like my cactuses. And you basically, it's got loads of seeds in it. Includes a diverse assortment of cactus seeds, including, I, I can't read all them. But it's got a terracotta pot, a bag of suitable potting mix, a cover with a plastic bag for greenhouse cycle, and then the instructions to do it. So one day, I will get this done, and I'm really excited about it. I don't know if what time of year would be best for it. You have to read the read the instructions. I'm really excited to do that. Second to last, but penultimately, I can't say the word. This is from Tiger, and we saw it ages ago. I'll have to do a little cutaway of this. Um, we saw this ages ago. I'm surprised it was still there to be fair, but it's basically like this bit of cardboard with some velcro and it oh, turns into a seat, but you wouldn't think that this would be something that like Steph could sit on. I thought that's really cool, I don't think I'll be able to have it out all year, but I think it's really clever. That's from Tiger as well. And then lastly, it was quite funny because the way I opened all my presents, this was actually the last thing. He bought me washing up gloves and I just threw them at him. So yeah, that's everything I got for Christmas. I was a bit spoiled, I must admit. Um, so thank you everyone for my presents. What I got for from Bristol was I went to Primark. So basically it's Primark and Lush. I'll show you my Lush things first. I got a bubble bar, a milky bath a bubble bar. And it's just like in the shape of a milk bottle with like a silver top. Smells so good. It's got purple coming out of it, so I bet it and orange. So I bet when I put it in the bath, it will all turn different colours as well. Um, I got this Ickle Baby bot bath bomb for Harrison's bath. It's just a little blue robot, which is really cute. Not that he cares. And then the last thing I got was half price because it was part of the Christmas range. It were, It's the Christmas Rocker Soap. So it's like the orange rocking horse. I think it's like, or I think it's orange, like Madeira. Oh, it smells so good. I can't wait to use that. Oh, big set of yellow. <laughs> So yeah, I thought I'd get to treat myself to one of them as well, seeing as it was half price. So I don't very often go into Lush. I don't very often go into Lush because I don't like paying like £5 for a bath. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> um, but I thought I'd treat myself. And then from Primark, I got two jumpers, both the same but different colours because they were in the sale. This was £7. I'll do a quick way of me trying it on. Um, it's got quite a high neck, it's got like bow sleeves and it's like in a plum colour, really like that and it's like raglan sleeve as well which I thought was quite nice. And then I also got that in red, I had it on earlier that's why it was over there. Got that in red as well, I don't know why the front is, yeah, so it's exactly the same but in red. And then I got this t-shirt, it's just a white plain t-shirt with like these, oh they are poppers, these poppers on their sleeves and that was £6. And then I got like homeware and beauty bits I think, oh no I got a dress which I'm not sure about, I might try it on and hate it but I like it on the hanger. Ooh. I got it in a 14 because I am a 12 but my boobs are quite big so in stuff like shirt dresses and stuff I feel like I need to be a bit bigger it's just this grey 
like wool with it. I'm really hit and miss with Primark at the minute. I can't seem to find anything I like it, other than the home bits. I always find home bits, i.e. this candle. Well, Chelsea actually found this because I was in Bristol with Chelsea. Um, it's golden lily and vanilla. It smells alright. I can't like it, but I got it mainly for the pot. And then when the candle is burnt out, I think I'm going to put a flower in it. I really like the pot with the concrete and the gold. And that was £3.50. I got this basket, which was £5, I think. Yeah, £5. I have no idea what I'm going to put it in it yet. But I really liked it, like with all the you know, the palm trees and cheese planty kind of feel, because I've got green cushions and stuff, and I just that felt like it kind of worked. What's it called? Paper loom basket. But yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna put in there. Maybe I can put remote controls in there, and then I won't bloody lose them. That may, might be a plan. But yeah, I can use this now. Um, standard bubbles pound belt which I'm unsure about but I really needed it because I have no belts left and this was the only black belt they had in that Primark in Bristol in a medium the rest all were extra large it's just like a studded kind of reminds me of like the All Saints that we always used to use to wear like back in 2000 in other words with All Saints or whatever it said on it <laughs> but this was about three pound I think yeah three pound so that will do and then I got some blender sponges beauty blenders just because I my other ones were completely knackered um, I got this holla and glow <clears throat> holla and glow after gel revenge so it's basically since I've had my nails taken off have been so so flimsy and I just needed something to make them stronger so I'm hoping this is going to do the trick if it doesn't it was only two pounds not not such a waste of money but I'll give it a go and then I also got this liquid lipstick doesn't say what color obsession from the insta girl is no insta girl collection and it's just a liquid lipstick and I thought it was quite a nice colour. It's like, kind of like a deep plummy red. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. And that was two pounds. And that's everything. We'll see you all next week for another video. Um I'm gonna be doing weekly videos from now. What's the matter? Nothing. Oh, oh. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm going to do weekly videos from now on. I want to get up a schedule um, for my blog and YouTube. So you'll always know when I'm going to be uploading content, whether over here or on the blog. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, and I shall see you soon.